welcome back to another video. Today we are going grocery shopping at Trader Joe's and we are going to take you with us and explain why we're getting what we're getting and give some advice if you are looking for help with your grocery shopping. Let's go. But in order for our grocery shopping to be successful, we want to plan a little bit in advance before we actually do the shopping. So first you'll come up with the meals that you want for the week. That way you're not just randomly picking things out that you think you want, you actually have a full plan. Once you know what you actually want to eat, you'll go through and figure out what you need to get from the store versus what you already have at home. And the third tip that most people forget about is don't go grocery shopping shopping when you are hungry so eat beforehand that way you're not getting sidetracked and distracted with things that you're not even planning on eating for the week we just got back from shopping and we're going to show you our grocery haul what we got first thing is when you walk into the grocery store we start in the produce section this is all of our fresh food fresh food is generally where you want to start it's going to be the healthiest of food options it's the less processed food we start off with bananas we just use this as a breakfast food in the morning or we use it with our snacks we both got apples there's a lot of different apple variations that you can get you can also choose from so many different fruits typically when you're shopping for your fresh produce your fruits and your veggies you want to eat the rainbow that just means you want to eat fruits and veggies that are red orange yellow green blue purple So you have your apples and they come in different colors. You have red and green. And so whenever you're picking out foods, you can consider what colors am I eating? Because those different colors actually give different nutrients and different health benefits. So that's something important to consider. If you're always eating the same fruits and veggies, maybe switch it up. Strawberries, and with our strawberries, we usually get the bigger portion strawberries just because we can go through fruit relatively fast. They're a really great simple carb. And we use that for our snacks and for our breakfast as well. All right, in this bag, we have the avocados. With our avocados, we can make avocado toast with it. We are also going to try out an avocado dessert. So I'm really excited about that. We got our bell peppers. We got red and yellow, but you can get red, orange, yellow, or green. With our peppers, we are actually making some stuffed bell peppers tonight. And also with the peppers, some are sweeter than others. So pay attention to that whenever you're choosing which type of peppers you want with your meals. All right, next thing we have is the carrots. I honestly am getting the carrots one because I need those vitamins. Um, but specifically, we've been driving in our van and with carrots, they help with your eyesight at night. So we're gonna eat some carrots. Next thing we got is the beefless ground turkey, beefless ground beef. <laughs> and we're gonna use our bell peppers. Actually, it's perfect, red and yellow. These are the exact ones we got. If you are vegan, Trader Joe's and also so many other places now have higher protein vegan options. So that's a really cool thing that that is available to most people now. And then we also have our ground chicken, and this is for Brian. He eats and cooks meat more than I do. Next thing we have are turkey burgers, and this is a great source of protein if you are trying to get in protein. This cheese is also for Brian. One thing that we often do is we have sandwiches as quick meals to get protein in. this pasta now this is not something that we typically get but we got as like a special little fun treat 
and meal to make. So they have like a bunch of little fun different colors, spirals, and we're excited about it. When you're looking at carb sources, some really great carb sources that you can look at are your brown rice and bulk rice is usually the cheaper option. You can get brown rice and then you can also try out white rice if you don't want brown rice or if you have a preference, but with brown rice, you will get more nutrients. So typically we choose brown rice with our meals and as far as pastas go, typically we will gravitate towards the whole grain pastas. I know a lot of people tend to fear eating carbs and fear eating rice and pastas, but they're staples in our diet and they're great carb sources. It's really just about balance in your diet and really just trying to rely on more of those whole foods, less processed foods if you can. Let's continue on our next thing in our haul is our roasted garlic hummus. These ones are spicy dried fruits. I love dried fruit. They are more processed, but they are a healthier option. Next we have the Omega 3's Trek, Trek mix. That just, <laughs> we've got our Chex mix next. Am I saying Chex mix? Trail mix. Trail mix. Trail mix. <laughs> yeah, Trail mix. No. And then we have chicken broth. That's a healthier alternative, low sodium, if you're going to cook some ramen. And these are Brian's as well. So he is trying out these barbell protein snacks. And that is what we got today from Trader Joe's. I hope you enjoyed. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps our channel. Also on January 1st, we are launching our coaching group. If you are interested in joining, you can find the link down below in the description. And we hope to see you there. Until then, stay strong, friends. Bell stuff, stuff bell pepper. <laughs> <laughs> but I love a good stuff. Oh my God. But I love a good stuffed bell pepper. <laughs> Baked in the buttery. Baked in the buttery. <laughs>